starting in goal tonight, and I am sure that he is going to be stellar. Puck along the boards. Cornelison taking the man down. It's wrapped around there for Egan. Egan now just chipping it back deep. Good play there. Puck comes out in front. Great pad save by Bennett, and it finally squeaks through as he had it momentarily. But I believe he got it off the rebound and was able to put it by Blair Bennett. And the Icers on the board here early. Only 3-12 into the first period. Aiken hitting Petrick along the end boards. Aiken doing good work here these last two hockey games. He had a great opportunity last night. But Tim, pardon me, Carr was up to the challenge. Cornelison now sending it in deep. Boschman in front for Morangel. Back to Cornelison. Shot through and he scores! Cornelison, nice shot, nice shot. And what you want to see is the traffic in front of the net and cycling the puck. Lizzie cannot afford to do stretch passes against Penn State. The cycling the puck, nice catch by Bender, by Cornelison, and he set it up very beautifully. But the key thing is picking his corners. He did not rush his shot. A lot of times when you get the puck on the point, you just want to throw it on net. But he picked his spot, he picked it well, and Liberty has tied this game up. Sweetland skating at the cross and now chipping again deep. Backer battling for it there. Longo now sending it in once again. And the Icers here as they throw it towards the net and they score a bad, or a bad bounce there for the Flames. And the Icers regain the one goal lead and Blair Bennett. Liberty has to keep this up. Again, point shots working the puck around, but they're doing a good job of weathering the first period storm that Penn State has brought out so far in this game. Now McComb with it, taking behind the net, looking in front, back door, Turner scores! Rick Turner makes it two to two! Working the puck around, and Turner picked his spot and he nailed it. Kerr now getting it down deep, he's filled in the boards by O'Brien. O'Brien knocked off his feet, with it there's Boschman trying to get it for Turner in front, but he fanned on the shot, and now breaking free is Kershaw. Here he comes with Olchik, across, Olchik scores! Tommy Olchik with a nice tap-in goal, and the Penn State Icers make it three to two. And Kershaw did just did a flat-out great job of outskating Jackson Kuhn. He did a beautiful pass, and there's nothing you can really do. Kuhn tried to get back to play his lane, but it wasn't enough. Kershaw, like we talked about, he set that play up. He's a very smart player, and I think Kuhn, you might say, got caught trying to do a little too much. He skates away. Friedman now entering the ice along with Daly and Saruti. Saruti looking in front. Daly there scores! Bang, bang play, and the Icers go up by a score of 4-2 to two off a nice feed from Saruti in the corner. He loses the handle, and that's going to do it here at the end of this hockey game. The Flames drop this one by a score of 4-2, to two, and the Icers come out and work a hard 60 minutes and definitely do earn this victory. And like I said earlier in the warm-up, it looked like it was business time for them tonight. And they put in a really solid effort.